will the Bengals do with Sean Williams? Will he be cut? Will they keep him? These are things that I've been thinking about ever since the Bengals decided to sign Trey Wayne's and release Drake Kirkpatrick afterwards. Is the same going to happen with Sean Williams now that the Bengals have signed Von Bell? We'll talk about this next on New Stripe City. Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, H. Boogie. Please be sure to mash that like button and subscribe. I mean, unless you like the squillers, of course. Um, check the descriptions for ways to also help grow the channel. I truly appreciate that. And let's get into it. We interrupt this programming to help New Stripe City raise funds for this channel. Who did? New Stripe City community, I am glad to announce that I am a proud partner with Fanatics, an NFL officially licensed merchandising company. What does this mean? This means that you can get any kind of apparel, legit hats, draft hats, jerseys. This AJ Green jersey is $59.99 right now. Check it out. All you have to do to support the channel and to support me is to look at the links in the description that I post. Click on them. Once you go and open a new page, it'll bring up that specific item. All you have to do is purchase the item, like this AJ Green $59.99 Color Rush jersey. It's a lick, and it's real. It's real. It's legit. So all you have to do is go through that, check out, make your purchase, and you will be helping out New Stripe City. New Stripe City is also a partner with Amazon as well, so check out the links in the bio with the Joe Exotic shirt. Um, get you some cool stuff, especially with the draft coming up. You got to be fresh, right? We got to be fresh for this draft. So check out the Tiger King inspired Joe Burrow, Joe Exotic shirt. Link is in the bio. All you have to do is click my link, make your purchase, and you help grow this channel of New Stripe City. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. So like me, you guys probably wondered, as soon as you saw the Bengals uh, sign Von Bell to a $6 million average a year, three-year deal, you probably thought immediately, like, is this guy replacing Sean Williams? Because the Bengals did something similar when they signed Trey Waynes, who was a very similar corner to Drake Kirkpatrick in terms of playing on the left side. A bit of an upgrade, though, because he's more of a physical tackler. But I thought the same thing could potentially happen to Sean Williams, especially with the Bengals being able to save $4 million in cap if they do cut him. So for me, this kind of got me thinking, is this a possibility? Will the Bengals keep him? And I had to really do a film review to determine and get a good enough answer to see if the Bengals could potentially keep three safeties like Paul Danner Jr. of the athletic reporting. So that is kind of floating out there. There's been some people talking about, let's just move Sean Williams to linebacker. So I decided, hey, let me evaluate both prospects. I'll look into Sean Williams as well as Von Bell. I'm going to have a more in-depth video on Von Bell coming up, so stay tuned for that. But this is about Sean Williams, so let's get into Sean. So a couple things that are going for Sean Williams in terms of the Bengals keeping him is that he's 28 years old, whereas Drake Kirkpatrick just turned 30. Uh, so he's still at a young age. The other thing going for him when I looked at the film was that I noticed that he still plays on special teams. Obviously, he's a Bengals captain, uh, so that gives them some flexibility and a reason to keep him there because he can play the linebacker position, he can also play special teams, and he can be on the field as a third deep safety if you need him to. Now, when I looked at the film, majority of his snaps last year were played at linebacker. He played 523 snaps where he lined up uh, as a linebacker out of a thousand snaps. He only had 172 snaps at the free safety position. One thing that sticks out when you look at his film from 2019, however, is that the majority of the time he played near the line of scrimmage. He seemed to be somewhat of a liability at times in coverage, but he seemed to do well when he had to cover running backs majority of the time out of the backfield. So it seemed like early on in the season, he was being used as somewhat of a deep safety lining up as far back as 10 yards off of the line of scrimmage next to Jesse Bates. And then the more the season went on, the more you started to see him morph into moving towards the line of scrimmage. He was used some in some three safety looks with Brandon Wilson and Clayton Fedulum as well as Jesse Bates. And I think if they were to keep him, 
maybe they would expect him to be used in this in this role like how he initially played last year with him being used in that linebacker role for their three safety look so I think that that would be the case I think if you're asking him to be that cover safety then that doesn't really bode well for him now Von Bell could also be used in that similar role but we'll have to see uh, what they do but I do think that Von Bell has better skills in terms of coverage he's not amazing in coverage but he's definitely better than Sean Williams when it comes to a coverage standpoint because he can and has shown the ability to cover tight ends he has shown the ability to cover slot receivers whereas I feel like Sean Williams will be a liability I'm not sure from a snaps percentage how much more uh, they would be able to put Von Bell out there but I think given the fact that this guy is a safety that you're paying six million dollars a year for you would expect him to play majority of the snaps and maybe Sean is kind of that backup guy that can play several different positions where he can come in at linebacker he can also be your third safety as well so maybe it is a possibility because when you look at Clayton Fedulum and Brandon Wilson they were guys that just really couldn't get the job done and I think that we could easily say that Sean Williams is slightly better than them except that he's not as good as them I'd probably say in coverage so would be interesting to see that and then you also have to remember the versatility of Von Bell also being able to uh, play the slot cornerback position he did play some of that early on in his career uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that now where it gets interesting with Von Bell is the fact that he only played 167 snaps last year uh, for the Saints at the linebacker position and most of his snaps the 500 of his snaps actually came from the free safety position so you could see him as one of those deep safeties back there with Jesse Bates and I think that that means that he's also slightly uh, smaller than Sean Williams so he's not able to play the linebacker as much he's only 205 pounds whereas Sean Williams is 212 you know possibly 215 so that could be a way to deploy them but initially like when I went into this I just thought that it was a foregone conclusion that Sean Williams could be gone like I thought that him and Von Bell essentially were the same guys they are slightly different um, but I think after reviewing the film and looking at all factors I think that it is a possibility that they can possibly carve out a role for uh, all three safeties Von Bell Sean Williams as well as Jesse Bates I definitely think that Von Bell and uh, Jesse Bates are your starters, and it'll be interesting to see how they deploy these guys, but I think that it actually can be somewhat of a positive, and it can be something where they can actually get those guys on the field and work together and play together, whereas with the Drake Kirkpatrick and Trey Waynes, they were kind of locked in essentially at the same position, so that just made it a little harder for it to kind of work out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave your thoughts in the comments please be sure to like and subscribe and as usual i'll leave you guys with a who day all day every day and especially on sunday